Hello, how are y'all doing today? Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks so much for taking some time out to be with me. I have some things on my heart that I'd like to share with you today. So I'm down here in Pahuska, Oklahoma. And it's a, a small town of, a, of around 3,400 ind individuals and just southwest of Tulsa and just north of Oklahoma City. I'm on, a, I'm on a ranch today. I'm on the Drummond Ranch today. And it's a ranch of about 433,000 acres here, right in the northern part of Oklahoma. And so today, uh, walking tours are, are being allowed on this ranch today. And, and uh, Lad Drummond um, and Reed Drummond has a, allowed self-guided walking tours of the of this space today and so I'm so glad that uh, you're here with me because I have some things that I'd like to talk about that uh, being on this ranch kind of brings to mind. Well uh, Lad and Ree have done a great job in, in this community and in the downtown development here in, in Pahuska and uh, building a putting in a uh, 25,000 square foot they call it the mercantile. It's, uh, it has all kinds of um, food and you know, a restaurant and, and novelty sales and all kinds of things that, uh, that, that individuals are, are purchasing. And we just got back from visiting the mercantile. But we're out here now at the lodge on Lad and Ree's uh, land, ranch land. And at, we're at the place where, where Ree every week film something called the pioneer woman because Ree Drummond is the pioneer woman yeah so she started in 2006 with uh, was a blogger and ended up being the web blogger of the year I think in in 2009 or 8 I forget the exact year that she was the web blogger of the year and so she started out sharing what life was like out on the ranch here, what ranch life was like for her and her husband and their children. And, and then went on to start sharing recipes and, and then and how-to recipes and, and, her, and the food network. I don't know how they got wind of, of her recipes and everything, and, but uh, they gave her a spot. And, and on, every Saturday morning now, she shares her recipes with the watching world. And on her website, also called The Pioneer Woman, uh, at one time, many years ago, over 22 million page views happened on, at The uh, Pioneer Woman. What a great story. So Ree and Lad, they, they, they saw something and they started it. And, and she, she's a pioneer. That's what a pioneer does. They see something, they see a need. Obviously it comes from this deep love an appreciation of, of the topic. Um, and, and then they start something. They, they have this dream. They have this vision. And they, and they, and they start doing something. They, they start something really cool. And here she started sharing her recipes with the watching world. And, and loves it with her kind manner, her, uh, her, her humor, and her, and her humility. It's just a great thing that, that all of us... Uh, have been enjoyed been enjoying for quite some time and now we're able to go up to the lodge and 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 have a self-guided tour of where they film this uh, this TV show every week so thanks again for being here because there's something that comes to mind here as I as I'm here uh, getting ready to tour the uh, the lodge this whole idea of being a pioneer isn't that cool and, and what is a pioneer? A pioneer, again, is seeing a need and then starting something, and you're the first ones. You become labeled as a pioneer, and so now Ree Drummond is the pioneer woman. And so when I'm thinking about things that, have, that start in our lives, some, a Bible verse comes to mind of something that is the most important venture to start in a person's life. And that is the birth, their second birth. That is that spiritual life that starts. And, and, 
And sure enough, there's, there's something different about that life. As we know in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 and 18 and following, it goes like this. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. And who is this person? Who is this pioneer that's, that starts this new life in individuals' lives? It's God Almighty. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. And we know, so God, God is that pioneer in our lives. God is that one that starts something. And then it catches fire and changes our life. Every aspect of our life, every dimension of our life. Isn't that a great thing, a great story? Just like Re had this vision of something that she loved and knew that people would enjoy and now has made a difference in lots of people's menu choices for years and years. So on the scale of the spiritual life, God is the ultimate pioneer. He's the one that wants to start something anew in your life. And we know that once he starts something, he's going to bring it to conclusion. We know this because he said it in, in the book of Philippians, in chapter 1, verse 6. Paul, writing to the church at Philippi, says this. We have confidence in this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion in Christ Jesus. Being confident of this, that he who started a new life in you is going to bring it to conclusion. Why? Because he's the ultimate pioneer. He's the one that has seen a need in people's lives, all of mankind's lives, knowing that they, they, they're walking and they, they haven't had this spiritual uh, experience of, of being born again. And so they say, he says, you know what? I can start that in your life if you'll receive me. John 1.12 says this, Therefore, he who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So, my challenge to you this day, have you allowed the heavenly pioneer to start something in your heart? Have you allowed him to start something really cool, to change you from the inside out? He's the heavenly pioneer wanting to do something um, wonderful in your life, wanting to change you and give you fruit that'll last not only in this life, but for all time. All right, my friends, thanks for listening to what's been on my heart. Thank you for um, uh, being here at Pot Bahaska, Oklahoma. I'm going to get ready to go in and, and walk around where Re makes all her wonderful, wonderful um, uh, fixings or recipes for all of us to enjoy. And, and so I'm going to jump in there with the other uh, individuals that are up there already. But I just wanted to share with you and challenge you. Have you allowed the heavenly pioneer to start something in your life, start something fresh, start something new that will not only start here, but will last through all eternity. I pray that, he, that you allow him to, and I pray if you have already, keep keeping on. All right, my friends, looking forward to our paths crossing soon. One last thing, I love you all. Take care, and I look forward to our paths crossing soon. Take care, bye-bye.